Desert Treasure 2 alongside the four new bosses are coming out on the 26th of this month. I have been extensively going through the betas and the information from the videos and updates. I am well prepared as I have almost every good gear in the game. However, there is one powerful weapon I don't have and that might be really good for one of the new bosses and that is the Harmonized Nightmare Staff. Before the Shadow became the strongest magic weapon in the game, the Harmonized Staff was the strongest magic weapon because it fired Fire Surge at a faster speed and combined with the Tone Fire, it would do 50% extra damage. However, it is still best in slot at one place with PVM, which is the Ice Demon boss in Chambers, because Fire Spells do bonus damage to that boss. How does this all relate to preparing for Desert Treasure 2 though? Well, in the original Desert Treasure quest, you do fight four bosses that are aligned to the four ancient magic elements. And Desert Treasure 2 bosses are confirmed to have direct ties to those same four elements. Perhaps the ice boss might have a fire weakness. So I am starting off the nightmare grind with every drop minus the pet and the infamous harm orb in the collection log. Can we get this harm orb by the end of this video? Find out. Also, Fulsani Nightmare is the version we do kill nowadays as the kills are effectively twice as fast, meaning the average time for a drop is faster versus the regular Nightmare. Yo, oh, new, new PB, 7.1 kills an hour. Oh, I got a freaking mace. Oh, shit. No way, I got another mace. It's been a long time since I got one, but oh my god. Okay. Wow, that is, uh, that, that would be the fourth one, isn't that, huh? The fourth one? Oh my god. Damn, I would trade two maces, though. Not gonna lie, for a uh, harm orb right now, though. Yep, that's my fourth one. Damn, we are sure lucky on the maces, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, never mind. We're only gonna get one spec, and we're just gonna have to accept that. Oh, actually, maybe not. Oh my god, that was so sick. Damn, I just back-to-back -back death charge. Wow, I didn't think I was going to be able to pull it off. That means full spec bar for two Void Wicker specs. Yo, 900 KC guys, 100 away from a orb rate just off of Fosani. Definitely a decent time. Definitely a decent time, boys. Oh, new PB, no way. I actually PB. Oh, 634. I went with it, you know? I was too shotting the pillars uh, on phase one with the shadows, so I figured we full commit to the scythe. Oh my god, I PB'd again. Back to back. Bullshit. <laughs> the RNG is insane. Holy shit. The crazy part about this is that the Grandmaster time for Fosani Nightmare used to be seven minutes, but before the shadow, it was so hard to get that people complained enough that Jagex changed it to 7.30. But now, as you can see, I literally am going a whole minute faster than even the Grandmaster time, so... Oh, I got food. I'm staying. Alright, I totally didn't even realize that, like, I, I should just be doing two kill trips, especially if I get the food drop like this. Banking does add quite a bit of time, so in order to make this strategy work for the two kill trip, I do need to bring more cures for the Parasite. So instead of two prayer potions and one bomb, I need one prayer potion, one sand fuel, and one bomb. Because one bomb usually lasts one kill, but then I don't have enough for two. So the sand fuel will act as a prayer potion and as a cure for the parasite. So that means we can make this work without having to compromise my inventory at all. 50, 62, and three shot. Nice. And Blood Runes. Dude, I'm loving these two kill trips. Anytime I get a brew drop or a base or sharks, easy two kill trip. This is a good time to use the sand fuse that we got from... I don't even know. Where we get these sand fuse from? Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. Vedion. We did a lot of Vedion because we went dry for the Void Waker piece there. So I have like a thousand sand fuse. Uh, we just bring one. We probably won't even use it. Because the only time I'll use it is if we go for the two kill trip. So it'll be, I'd say, super worth, you know. Damn. Oh my god. Oops, I was paying attention. Almost died. Almost died on the 1,000th kill. Damn, we did it. 
1000 freaking KC at the Fulsani version. And we are now on rage, specifically the Fulsani version for our orb. We have not gone any from the Fulsani. I guess the next new milestone goal is to do Fulsani until we get an orb drop and hope that it's the right one. For those of you guys learning Nightmare, one of the hardest parts is making sure you deal with the Hus before the Sleepwalker shows up because the Hus prevents you from moving, right? But if it happens back to back, you can still save the kill. Just make sure you're really fast with killing the Hus as soon as they spawn so you have time to kill the Sleepwalkers. Oof, I just fucking made that. That was pretty unlucky, I'm not gonna lie. My character was like, yeah, let's just run around like an idiot. Oh, oh, Inquisitor play skirt. Oh, it's not the orb. Oh, damn, bros. Uh, well, I think we are on rage for just getting this in general, but man, I was really hoping we got an orb. But yeah, we still have not seen a single orb from the Fulsani version, and we're over the rate for one, so let's freaking commit, commit. Oh, what? That was a... Huh? There's no way that was that fast. 613? I'll die PB by 6 seconds. Okay, nice. I knew it was a fast kill based on how good my hits were at the start, but I did not know this was actually almost world record speed. I'm only a few seconds off of world record speed, and I didn't even try to speedrun it. So we have a correction here. At the time that I recorded this clip, I was, I believe, only a few seconds away from the world record, but I double checked just in case, and apparently someone got even faster. Now there's a sub 6 minute kill for world record, so 19 seconds off from the world record now, but yeah, still crazy. Here's a tip for Parasite. So the Parasite likes to damage the pillar that's been charged the least, so if you do like 5 damage on one pillar, and then you go like super far away from it and the parasite spawns it will go for that one but it'll be so far away that you have so much time to kill it before it does anything nice see so there's a cool trick with the husk that you can do sometimes if you're paying attention to how long your death charge cooldown is so for example if your death charge is about to run out like maybe 10 seconds and the husk shows up you can death charge one of them and then you can leave the second one alive and wait for the cooldown of the second death charge coming up to show up. And then you can kill that one for a back-to-back -back death charge. But it requires a bit of understanding how to flick your prayers between the husks. So this is definitely more for experienced nightmare goers. Oh, actually? Yes, this is good. Seven seconds. Death charge. Boom. I'm going to stop at 1,100 for now. Still no sight of... The things that we're looking for here. No way he did that to me. Yo, look at look at this. Okay, look at that. The runes stay in the rune pouch. Holy shit, what a godsend. Finally, this update I've been waiting for years is actually here. Oh, I thought I potted. it. Oh my god, Inquisitor Harbark. Holy shit, but it's uh, not an orb. Uh, but it looks so cool on the ground. <laughs> Dude, I thought it was it. I thought we were done. No, we didn't. We weren't done. Ah, we weren't done. Man, all right. Well, it's cool. It's cool. That's that's my second one ever. It's my second one ever, guys. I'm pretty sure. Let me uh, let me show you. Yep. Wow. We finally have a a dupe set of Inquisitor. Basically, let's go. Okay, there it is. Twelve hundred Falsani KC. Pretty pretty good. We are speeding up our uh, kill amounts, I guess, in the next 20 or so days, because we got the release date for Desert Trader 2 now. So, I got about 20 or so days. Oh, yo, 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 oh my, dude! I was trying to click away at that tile, and then the parasite spawned on the tile. Because I haven't done it in so long. Oh, oh my god, I got the pet! Holy shit, yo! Okay, Kona Day! Let's go, I'm celebrating! Yo, oh, dude, that's crazy. Whoa, let's go, we got the pet! Oh, hell yeah, okay, I don't have to even insure it, right? So, only one egg drop, though. I think they're only, like, what, a 1 in 200? 300? So, it's crazy that I have only gotten one. We're getting this transmog out real quick. Let me find this egg. Ah, there it is. The one and only egg 
All right, let's just uh, use it on it real fast. You feed the egg to the little nightmare, it starts to... God, that is so disturbing looking though. Like, if you're a nightmare, would a male version of you be a night horse? What's a horse? Jagex, where's the horses? We only have unicorns, man. I like this one more because look, look at his walking animation. It's so menacing. Well, out of all the pets that I'm dry for, I guess it's just a gauntlet pet. We just don't have time. All right, time to go broke on my runes again. Damn, I still couldn't even fully charge it, but I'm doing some barrels right now on the side for early clues. So the chaos runes will come back, but yeah, the soul runes, though, unfortunately, it's ever going down. Okay, what the hell, man? Hit the goddamn boss. Took so long. 1300 KC. Let's go. Still haven't seen any orbs from the full Sonic version. Oh, oh my god, I just got my fourth Nightmare Staff, finally. Holy shit. Dang it! Oh, uh, well, we really needed the orb, man. Uh, but... It's been super long. It's been literally years since I've gotten a staff. Wow. We're actually insanely behind on staffs. Like, I probably am supposed to have, like, what, like, seven or something? Because I've done 1,400 regular Nightmare Solos and then a 1,300 Fosani, so... Don't try this at home, kids. As you can see, I have a Hus on me, and because the Hus is on me, the shadows cannot touch me when the boss does the Shadow Tindril move. But it's not really recommended because sometimes you can get dashed and being unable to move because the Hus holding you, or the mushroom spawns on top of you, which makes you attack slow. I only happened to have this setup because I was trying to time my death charge off the Hus, but it's a little cool thing to show you. I'll quickly go over how I kill Nightmare nowadays since a lot has changed. My latest setup has been improved significantly ever since I got the Shadow and the Void Waker. Shadow probably saves at least 30 seconds of kill and Void Waker saves at least 10 seconds of kill over all my other special attack weapons. The main weapons I currently use is the Mace for the melee part and the Shadow to charge the pillars also saying as an assist. I also bring the Scythe as well. However, as an Iron Man, I cannot main the Scythe as I end up using too many Blood Runes and the Mace is only a bit weaker, but it's free to use. I use the Scythe primarily for mobbing the Hus and the boss together when they spawn in a way that allows it. And when she does the consecutive Shadow Tendril attacks, which she does throughout the fight very often, that attack is the same speed as the Scythe, so dodging the Tendrils and hitting the boss is way easier with the Scythe. I occasionally do scythe only if I think the kill has personal best potential just for the hell of it. I have mage thrall active at all times because the damage is amazing for the boss and charging up the pillars quicker. I also activate death charge spell every minute for the extra special energy. The death charge spell usually procs off of me killing a hus, a parasite, or sleepwalker minion. I also wear the light bearer when I'm charging the pillars for faster special regen and use the Berserker Ring when I'm fighting the boss itself. Death Charge and Light Bearer lets me use my Void Weaker special attack more often, save me a lot of time. The Elder Maul's high hits are strictly to kill Parasite as it one-shots the Parasite, even with Magic Gear on. I have a Sang Staff with me just in case I need to heal more often on really bad runs, as mistakes do happen and every mistake is usually at least a 50 to the face. The Crossbow is to easily tag the Sleepwalkers during the transition period, Although Magic Shortbow and even Blowpipe will work. Unfortunately, by the end of this video, I did not get the orb. I did track about 900 kills of Fosani, which is a bit more than what I did in this actual video. But yeah, about 900 kills tracked, and we did complete Full Inquisitor again. There's still a few more days left after this video's release for me to try to grind Nightmare for this orb before Desert Treasure 2 release. So maybe in the next video, you might see some more continuation right before... But overall loot, it's pretty modest compared to most of the new bosses nowadays. The Fosai Nightmare drops is nothing crazy because 180 Snapdragon Seeds and 900 kills is uh, probably the best drop overall that we got here. Uh, some Sanfu Serums are nice. Uh, decent amount of runes, decent amount of herbs and ores. The Elite Clues are good. I've definitely been doing some for the Clue Scroll stacking video coming up. Whatever I get here is definitely not enough to replenish anything that I use, like blood runes. But overall, 500 mil was made though, so that's cool.
on the side i've been trying to stack more clue scrolls because i am trying to do a big cross video involving collecting all types of clues 100 times minus masters so i've been at barrels trying to get elites because it's one of the fastest ways and i want to fill the barrels log along with it but i couldn't actually start barrels for some reason because the NPC kept telling me to talk to him the guy that digs the graves and it turned out they added a mini quest after secrets of the north quest it's called his faithful servant and this quest is actually a requirement for desert treasure 2 so without realizing i was actually working on some of the last uh, quest requirements i didn't complete or the desert treasure 2 but this mini quest requires you to go and finish barrels run once to open the chest because you get this relic thing and you got to give it to the grave digger guy so finishing it gives you twenty thousand prayers so it's pretty nice that's cool another thing done for desert treasure 2 i had a bunch of these caches rune caches from rage 3 that i was saving up but honestly i'm not doing rage 3 much nowadays so i'm gonna open it up because it gives a lot of soul runes and blood runes and i have a feeling i'm gonna need to use a lot of them for the new dt2 bosses especially the blood runes because jagex hinted slash is gonna be really good for one of the bosses and i'm guessing it's probably scythe that they're talking about and when you spam the scythe the blood runes go fast so i want to have like 100k plus so we're gonna do some more rune crafting we do know the four bosses' names that are coming out from Desert Treasure 2. One of them is called the Chrysias Leviathan. And that actually is a boss that you can fight in RuneScape 3. Maybe some of the mechanics from the original boss from RuneScape 3 might happen here in this old school version. And another boss is called Duke Succulus or something. I honestly don't know how to pronounce it. But it is a general of Zaros. Unfortunately, though, we don't get to fight in RuneScape 3, so we have no idea what kind of mechanics it's got. And the other two bosses, though, I do not believe they exist in RuneScape 3, so... And also, there's hard mode now, which will give the Torva recolor kits, too, for the Blood Torva, so that's cool as well. Definitely gonna go for those as well. I also did some Theater of Blood recently, because after collecting some more slots at Chambers, I decided I wanted to try my luck at TOB, since everything was done pre-log. I did, however, already got some back from random uh, events that I host from time to time. But yeah, there's two more items left at Theater, which was the Sang Staff and the Justiciar Body. I thought I was going to make a whole prize video dedicated to it, but it looks like I don't have to because I thought it would take hundreds of tops to get those two items back on the log. But it was a lot quicker than I anticipated. Basically just helping some of my friends out, mostly my our friends that finally got to the top stage so yeah i hooked them up a bit and showed them the way and i was hoping some good karma would come of it and definitely the karma came through yo okay we're good all right we still we still did it boys yeah dude torva scythe is so op oh my god, oh my god. holy shit that's that was hard oh yeah uh, good work good work good work we just made it it's just your body you know because uh I need that. No, 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 We need money over here. I need to pay you back. We need money. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, saying. Oh, and, and it's a slot. That's and it's a money. slot. Holy shit. We got we got the saying and a slot. What already? Dude, it's my uh, it's my like nice. second day back. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, it's like yeah, it's like my second day back doing top, you know? Helping helping the homies out. The, Yo, dude, money, it, please, it works. Money, please. I lost 30 mil from this. <laughs> what you mean? Yeah, that's, good. that's a good. That's a good split. That's a good split. I just need to get the body now, and then um, maybe the cape. But maybe the capes can come. It depends on when I get this body. I guess. All right. For science, I wanted to see how many charges I use of blood fury in a normal top with like a average team. Started with eight one three three for this top. I finished this top with seven seven four four. So, it's like 300 charges the top if I spam Scythe with it. So, definitely not gonna use the Blood Fairy that much. I'll uh, definitely keep using the Torture mainly. And only put it on as a backup. Oh, shit. What? Oh, we got a purple too. Oh, a Rapier. Damn, Rapier is so cheap. Let's see who's making the money today. There you go. Oh, a Furnic Defender. Actually, good money. That's actually good money, but yeah, we, we already have tons of these recorded on here. Theater of Blood Strategies hasn't changed too much since coming back to it, except I do want to say, especially for Mage Roll, that things have changed, though, in terms of what you can bring. So now I bring a Saturn Imbue Heart, which 
is amazing because it's just constant like plus what 12 magic or something like that or 13 magic amazing extra max hits and also the new war for mace 3 is also extra max hits so i'm getting like two or three max hits with my new mage setup making the nalo room much easier to kill the blue crabs and also the maiden freezes are so op now too oh damn 900 uh theaters though 900 regular oh i did 100 damage oh hell yeah and we skipped it mr david here pk two people right around p3 verse and we just barely made it in the five minute and he gets the reward this is how it works guys Oh, I got a purple. Let's go. All right. Well, good luck. Good luck. Splits. Or well, it could be the body and then not much of a split. Who knows, man? This could be it. Oh, I did it. I actually finished. Well, I, I kind of finished. Oh, I got the face. Uh, I got the chest guard. Well, that was easy. How much is this worth for, for, the, for the team? Yeah, you guys want split? Uh, we'll give you a split. Nice. Well, I, I pretty much have all the uh, top items back. Minus the capes. 